Good morning. I am Phoenix Mayor Kate Gallego. We are gathered here today with my fellow council members, Councilman Nowakowski, Councilwoman Stark, Councilwoman Guardado, Councilwoman Pastor, and Councilmember Garcia. Uh, we are also joined by State Representative Daniel Hernandez and LBG, um, advocacy groups, one in 10, HRC, one community, the Greater Phoenix Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce. Today's Supreme Court ruling is a complicated one. I wanna welcome Eric Frazier of Osborne Maladon who represented the city and argued the case at the Arizona Supreme Court who will give us a brief overview of the Supreme Court's decision. Good morning. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. I'm Eric Frazier from Osborne Maladon. As you know, the ruling just came down about 20 minutes ago. So like the rest of you, we are still reviewing the decision. I wanna go over a few high-level points from what we've been able to glean so far. This is what's considered a very narrow legal ruling from the Supreme Court. It is not a broad sweeping ruling. The Supreme Court recognized the importance of public accommodation laws and ensuring equal access to goods and services for all members of the community. The court ruled that one company, Brush and Nib Studios, can refuse to make one type of product, custom wedding invitations, for same-sex couples seeking service. The ruling does not allow for discrimination for any other types of products, on any other bases, it does not apply to any other companies. The ruling is limited to one product by one company. We anticipate that you'll have questions and we will be happy to take those in a moment, but I'd like to bring the mayor back up. Mayor Gallego. The city of Phoenix's non-discrimination ordinance still stands. That means that non-discrimination ordinances in other communities such as Tucson, Tempe, Flagstaff, and Bisbee, Bisbee also still stand. Today's win, or today's decision is not a win, but it is not a loss. It means we will continue to have a debate over equality in this community. We believe at the city of Phoenix that, as uh, Dr. Martin Luther King said, the arc of justice is long. It will bend towards equality, but we will continue to have this discussion and this debate. Our ordinance will continue to protect the rights of Phoenicians. I want to be clear, the city of Phoenix does not and will not tolerate hate in any form. That doesn't change to, with today's ruling, and we will not stop with our fight. For more than three years, the city of Phoenix has been in court fighting for the rights of our residents. The defendants were a local business, but they were backed by a national group that is extensively involved in litigation. This case was never about one business refusing to acknowledge the humanity of our LGBTQ community. It was about whether we will expect, ex accept discrimination in our community. The ordinance is not just something nice to have on paper. It's something we have seen been used to lodge complaints by community members who, have feel, who feel they have been unfairly targeted. We all des deserve to live in a city that accepts our individuality and our freedom of expression. And a core tenet of our, national free of our nation is freedom of religion, but freedom of religion does not mean freedom to discriminate. Personal convictions cannot be used as an excuse for outward bigotry. If you serve someone in your community, you should serve all people in our community. As Paul Smith, a First Amendment expert, so eloquently put it, we've never allowed a commercial business to justify discrimination against a protected class based on the First Amendment. We shouldn't start now. I want to thank you all for covering this important decision.